Okay, this how-to video is going to go through something called unused pad suppression inside the Cadence PCB tools. So this command allows you to remove um, the outer pad um, that a lot of fabricators do anyway when they're doing uh, manufacturing data. Um, but you can actually do this um, dynamically during a design. Um, so you can then uh, utilize the additional space that it might give you. Obviously, you can see here I've got a few issues where maybe I wanted to get more than another track round through here maybe you know and, and by removing the pads that might utilize the extra space so predominantly this used to be a manufacturing process so if you go to your export Gerber there's actually a checkbox here to suppress unconnected pads the biggest disadvantage of doing this is you don't get to utilize the additional space um, because it's done as a post process rather than during dynamically during the design so being able to do it dynamically during the design is, is, is key really and it actually means that you're you're sending out the data that you want and not relying on the PCB fabricator to confirm that he's removed all the pads or not removed the pads etc. There might be some issues why you want to keep the pads on um, from a reliability point of view possibly but um, that would depend on, on the design process that you're following. So to enable this we'll go to the cross section so it's available under setup and cross section or we can use this icon like over here. And then if we look at a specific stack up that we've got, so in this example, I'm gonna look at the primary stack up, which is a six layer board. And we scroll along a bit, and then under the physical section, we've got the unused pin suppression and unused via suppression. Uh, these are available obviously on the inner layers. Um, you wouldn't remove the pads on the outer layers. So we can effectively enable the pins and the pads and the via, sorry. Um, and then we need to effectively um, dynamically use the unused suppression, so we'll do that. We actually get a pop-up here that's going to warning that the dynamic shapes are going to go out of date because they need to be updated. OK. Um, we then apply this and OK. And also going to warn me that the DRC markers are no longer valid. So we'll have to make sure that we do an update DRC to cover all the whole DRCs. So first things first, it's going to set up constraint modes. Let's just check on the spacing and let's just make sure that our whole two checks are all enabled. They are, which is good. So any DRCs that are going to cause would be um, related to the whole. So what we can do, let's just uh, do an add connect command. You'll notice that the, these, this is the whole representation. If I do an add connect command, the pad is then added automatically because I'm effectively going to affect that. But I can get much closer to the whole than I would um, normally. So I could potentially, if I needed to, try and squeeze another track around here using the push, shove and hug. Um, I'm on hug only, so let's go to shove preferred. You see, I, I could actually make the space to get an initial tracking round here um, by doing that. And it shows that the, the layers there. Something to bear in mind, obviously, when you're using the unused pad suppression is if I did do an add connect here, it would add the pad back in. You can see it's going to create DRC errors here and it won't push the tracks even further, but it will create DRC errors. So it'll only add the pads back in on the holes when you add connections because you need to do that, obviously, from a, an etching process point of view. But it's something to bear in mind. There is also a user preference you can add to restrict components from having this. So if I get the symbol, so we'll just hit the tab key until we get the symbol. We'll do a right mouse button property edit. Um, this one called unused pad ignore. Um, we'll set that to true and apply. Okay, that would then effectively add all the pads back in and the unused pad suppression um, override wouldn't affect on this specific component. 